Hey, you'd agree with me that the pandemic that we are going through is an unprecedented event of our generation. And those who have battled and won have wonderful stories to share. If you are a COVID survivor and would love to share your story, then do contact us. We have a Facebook page, COVID Survivor Stories. I will put that link in the description or in the comment section below. Today, I have a special guest. Vivek Yatnalkar is as fascinating as his stories. He is many things, including a facilitator, a fellow coach, and now a COVID survivor. We spoke on how he achieved clarity in the pandemic chaos and what he did to bridge the gap between perspectives before and after COVID. Hey Vivek, thank you so much for your time and welcome to my channel. You heard the context, right? Tell us what kind of a transformation did this COVID experience give you? Quite interesting uh, question, Aparna. Uh, I think uh, I'm, I don't know, I should say partially transformed person after my COVID experience. It's been a couple of months I'm out of quarantine. I think two instances is my life. Uh, I'm not counting marriage now, but you know, a couple of years ago, I was up in Himalayas doing uh, climbing up there in Triun. And the recent was COVID, I think, which gave a different insight. And I, as you said, it could be age also, <laughs> which is giving different insights. I think what made a big difference is the clarity uh, you get, uh, you know, uh, when you go through the instance. So uh, some people might find it very uh, different, but this, this is how I think. And when I was lying there in quarantine, the thought came in my mind is, see, one day you're going to die, right? Anyways, you're going to die. <laughs> is it today, tomorrow? You don't know. That's one. Second is I asked question to myself, if you're going to die, how do you want to die? Then I said, I want to die healthy. Right? So two things came uh, important. Anyway, you're going to die. One worry we all have is what will happen to my family? So in my personal life, my wife has consciously chosen not to work since, you know, to take care of me, my kids, a couple of kids. And I used to travel a lot as a facilitator. And so, you know, a financial need. So one worry comes in my mind is, does my family know, you know where I've invested? What's my bank login and et cetera, et cetera. That was one, right? Then I asked myself, so Vivek, why are you worrying? So might be today they don't know. You know, what's my login ID? Where's my bank? Where's the investment? I said, fair enough. What's the second worry? I said, I want to die healthy. So it's health. Right? So what, what do you want? What do you, you want to exercise regularly. Again, that's easy. Then third one I said is, I don't know when I'm going to die. So I need sufficient money to earn my earn my food. Right? So I said, guess your life. So life is a 70, 75. So earn sufficient money to kind of like, you know, earn, uh, buy your food. That's it. And so after I came out of COVID, right? So 14 days quarantine, 15th day, I made my wife sit in front of me. We took a diary out and I, I wrote down, you know, these, these, these are the bank details. This is the login ID. This is the credit card. This is where money is. I said, one done, right? So my main worry is that now basically I'm ready to die. Yeah. And I think that, that piece really made me happy. Saying, Vivek, you're a free bird now. You need not worry about death, you know, since I'm ready to die. And actually it is. As I speak to you today, and, you know, thank God, touch wood, health is all good, business good, you know, friends and customers like you. So Vivek is ready to die. You know, it's all taken care of by family. Now, second is health, right? So a couple of my doctor friends told me the, you know, some, some exercises, some breathing. So every day morning, thanks to COVID, I have started doing pranayama. I used to do a lot of climbing and all, but there is a thing, riga, you know, every day morning, 15 minutes. I said, yeah, that's done. Now, second is money. And then I checked my bank account and I did a quick math and saying, Vivek, do you have enough to earn food till 75? I said, yeah. Then basically, I, knew I am not working for money now, right? And that gave me clarity. Then why are you doing all this stuff? And that gave me power of saying no. And another learning during COVID was really simplifying life. So consciously being very aware, and that's what I call power of now. Every moment, I'm very conscious on choosing to do what I love to do. And rather than people forcing me to do. Yeah, earlier since my first 13 years of corporate, I invested in corporate life, traveling all over the world, meeting, staying late, adding my weight, and I don't know what not. And including before COVID, might be in a couple of years, you know, I used to, I was, I was traveling left and right, doing lots of assignments, India abroad, and grabbing work as much as, as you can. And uh, suddenly I look at myself and I'm saying no to the work. So my, my calendar, if you see now, is only half a day work. So I do half a day work. So either nine to one or one to three and I'm done. And Monday to Friday, there's nothing on the weekends. You know? Like talking to friends like you, I think that's what life is. And, and I'm wondering why did it take so much time for me to really come to this? And one thing I landed uh, is right, you know, it's that clarity. 
I think we all need a, I think, moment in life to really take a step back and do the mathematics, accounting, if you will, and just say, hey, why are you doing what are you doing? And what, this is a very famous question one of my mentors asks in experiential education. He always says, just, just ask yourself, why are you doing what are you doing? And if you have a valid uh, answer, fair enough. If not, make changes. Yeah. So just paraphrasing uh, financial literacy for family. I think that's the clarity I got. Uh, simplify your life. That's the clarity I got. Start saying no. That's the clarity I got. And, you know, sufficient exercise. Just do it. That's really fascinating, Vivek. And yes, thank. Uh, I agree that uh, clarity can give us direction in life. But not everyone can get that kind of a clarity to begin with, right? For example, in your case, you have had a life-altering event which helped you change your uh, change the priorities in your life. But what does one do to achieve that kind of a clarity without something like a pandemic striking you? Your thoughts on that? Yeah, very true, very true. I'm just going to take example from my son and he has taken admission to engineering in one of the nice colleges. And he took admission expecting something and you know he was ready to go to campus and enjoy the life. Mm. And boom, COVID happens, right? So he's going to finish his first year of engineering sitting at home. And we are having chat. And I think this is, apply, this, this is applicable to a lot of young people who are out there and including maybe if you're a housewife, you have chosen not to work, including you as well. Uh, it's very true. These days, uh, so many changes happening. It's difficult to predict life's three to six months. What I've learned in, in working in corporate life and investing in corporate life is uh, we all have something uh, when we do, we feel energized. You know, in, in the LND language, we call your, you know, you can call strengths, right? Uh, my invitation to everybody is consciously try doing something and be aware and find out those things which energize you. Like if, again, take personal example, my son and daughter. My daughter is energized by learning about languages. She's very creative by calligraphy, by singing. And if I take my son, he's more on problem solving, more studies. Yeah. Uh, me and my wife, we do like theater, talking to friends like you and things like that. I think stay with that. Uh, Papa and I, your generation and my generation, if you take care of our pay, if you think of our fathers, uh, you know, they were busy earning money, getting us married, getting houses. Thankfully, this young generation, they don't have any compulsions like that. See, you know, I whenever I talk to the current generation, young generation, they want to be entrepreneur, they want to do things on their own, they quit job, you know, in six months. So rather than you know quitting job and running around, just try a variety of things till the time you find uh, what you love. And that what you love is equal to what energizes you. And in the field, you can see a variety of professions available. It could be resume writing, it could be voiceover, it could be filming, it could be, I don't know, a shopper stop has like, you know, people who help you to select dresses. There are N number of um, professions available where people are ready to pay you money. And how much money do you want is to live your life. One of my colleagues, she works nine months uh, in a year and three months she is up in Himalayas. So, you know, those days are gone. A lot of the companies have allowed to work from home. So, you know, the, the same colleague was saying, you know, I'm going to move to Goa. Uh, so, wintertime Goa, summertime Simla. That's what she and her boyfriend are going to do. Now, I never imagined to have life like that, right? Yeah. So, again, summarizing, try a variety of things. But be aware what energizes you and stay there. One of the very good books I've come across uh, by Andrew Matthews, cartoonist in Australia. Two books, actually, they changed my life. One is Being Happy and second, Follow Your Heart. Very powerful book. If you, if you are into reading, feel free to buy and read those books. Yeah. Those are great books. Uh, one of the books that inspired me is Simon Sinek, Start With Why. And what you just said reminded me of that book. Uh, find your purpose. But until then, keep the status quo. Keep experimenting until you find your purpose or you start with why. Right? That's what you're saying. Another thing, if I may add in COVID, uh, uh, Aparna, which COVID taught me is being gratitude. And while I've been teaching about gratitude, but that hit me hard during COVID time. You know, just gratitude of, hey, I have a separate room. I can be quarantined. There is a wife who's giving me food. There are kids who are taking my care. There are friends who are calling me. There is a doctor who's giving medication. And I think last two months that has been in, ingrained into me. The moment I get up, there is a five minute of expressing deep, honest, deep gratitude and going to the bed, I'm saying, hey, thank you so much. Right? I think uh, Jaggi Vasudev has this uh, thing. What should you do once you get up? He said, yeah, just celebrate your birthday. Say happy birthday. And if you see your family, you should be more happier since a lot of people are dying every day. If you are alive, man, celebrate. I think that's another impact, which is celebrating life. Every moment, just be happy. Right? For whatever you got, 
Truly, truly, gratitude is magical and I totally agree with you. And I'm sure that every COVID survivor also agrees with you, you know. Thank you so much for your share and wonderful insights, Vivek. That's it for today. If you have any questions for Vivek or I, do leave it in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, appreciate if you could like and also follow my page. I'll see you next week. Until then, stay home, stay safe.